Welcome back to Chasing News. I'm Bill Spadia. We got a lot more show for you coming up tonight. How about this? Three brothers find in their parents' house in the basement a picture that they thought was just some knockoff that they were going to sell at a garage sale for a few hundred bucks. Turned out to be a lost Rembrandt worth more than a million dollars. That's coming up. But first, I want to introduce you to someone who has a message about domestic violence. She is a former member of the New Jersey Assembly, and she was a victim of domestic violence, and it led to her making some very important decisions about her career. There was a whole controversy over the fact that the issue of domestic violence did not come out until well after she had decided not to seek re-election to the New Jersey Assembly. I'm joined now by former member of the Assembly, Maria rodriguez Greg. Maria, welcome to Chasing News. How are you? Great. Thank you for having me. So let me ask you right off the top, Maria, there was a, a, an, a situation that happened with the charge of, of DUI after there was an incident on the road. Somebody actually rear-ended you, led you to a decision to say, I'm going to step back and take some personal time. Um, but I have to ask you, why did the situation of domestic violence that you were a victim of not come out until well after you had left the assembly? I was embarrassed to talk about it. It was something that I was still coming to terms with. Uh, I was still dealing with emotionally and psychologically. And um, it just was something that I wasn't comfortable talking about at all. For me, considering the type of, I guess, how people perceived me as being the strong person, roller derby player and everything, I was certainly very embarrassed to even talk about it. So why now? What changed? I did eventually, considering um, that I was going through a lot emotionally and psychologically, there was just this time of reflection uh, during my last week in the legislature, there were people that I knew personally that I was concerned may have been experiencing some of the same type of trauma. And I, I had a moment where, one, I was also in a better place and finally did get therapy, where I wanted to share my story to encourage other women and other uh, victims of domestic violence to get support and to get help. Now, what, what do you say if someone took a look at your Facebook post and the idea that you're now, uh, you know, speaking out, could it be interpreted that part of the message is that I got into this kerfuffle with the cops and it was a very uh, negative exchange? Is past victimization somehow a justification for future behavior? The purpose of the message and when I shared my Facebook post was to let people know, I, I think people aren't aware of the deep psychological wounds that occur when you're a victim of trauma, whether that be sexual assault, physical violence. The reality is when you don't get support, when you don't seek help, there's increased, and, the, and these are facts, there's increased fear, anxiety, depression, post-traumatic stress disorder, two times more likely than men. Suicidal ideation, even suicide. The the effects emotionally on people who experience trauma are grave. And so for me, it was to share my experience to encourage others to get help, to get therapy, to get support so that they don't become a statistic. Do you regret that you had this podium and you had a microphone, you were in the legislature, now you're out, you don't have the same level of connections. Uh, do you regret, regret that decision? Absolutely not. And I disagree with the premise. I do have the same level of connections. And I feel that I'm in a better position to advocate for others and to accomplish more on behalf of others that have experienced these type of issues. When are you running, when are you running again? Uh, that's not something I'm thinking about anytime soon. Uh, not so even spoken on my radar. like a politician, Maria. All right. <laughs> not even um, on my radar. Uh, just for, to clarify, though, your attacker was convicted. Yes. He pled guilty to assault. Okay. All right. Thank you, Maria. Appreciate you joining Thank me. Thank you. All right. Take care.